Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Patshala's video archives. We aim to assist you master the space of SRE and DevOps in AWS and other cloud technologies. This video is part of the series where we discuss various services and concepts used in AWS and other cloud technologies. Today we will be discussing what scale up and scale down is. This type of scaling is also called as vertical scaling wherein the resources on the servers are increased or decreased depending upon the requirements whereas uh, in the previous videos we have also seen what horizontal scaling is where we discussed uh, how scale out and scale in works how we could manually scale out and scale in using load balancers in AWS how automatic scaling out and scaling in functions in AWS with the help of auto scaling groups load balancers and launch configuration today uh, we would be looking at scaling up and down on the IT resources for this let's take a scenario where in we have one server which is having one CPU of processing capability and one gigabyte of memory now this EC2 instance uh, is actually hosting our database server wherein we are running a very small piece of MySQL server on the instance now with the increased resource utilization it is obvious that the CPU and the memory utilizations would hit the rooftop a graph of them would look something like this wherein this is the CPU utilization where it constantly peaks 100% and the memory would be a constant 100% used because the amount of queries that are happening on the database is really huge. In these kind of scenarios since we can't create multiple multiple databases and create and replicate the data across the board horizontal scaling goes out of the picture because we would not be able to replicate the data across all the nodes on a seamless manner in these situations we go with scale up and scale down wherein if we have a server with one CPU and one gigabyte of memory we increase the size of the server by increasing these computing capability of the server wherein we increase the server to two cpus and two gb of memory we could further increase the server to a higher configuration of four cpus and four gigabytes of memory and so on and so forth so this way in which we upscale the servers or increase the server's computing capabilities on a higher end is called as scaling up. If we have an existing server which is for say 32 GB of memory and 32 CPUs, right? And if uh, the resource utilization on this server is the opposite, that is, the CPU is always in 10% range where in this is the 100% range and also the memory utilization is constant at about 40% and this being the 100% for this what we could do is because this server or this EC2 instance is not being utilized to its maximum capacity and if we feel that even if we decrease or reduce the computing capability on the server the performance of the application or the database in this case would not degrade we would then consider scaling down the server now the process of scaling down is very similar what we would do is change the configurations to 16 cpus and 16 gigabits of memory if you still consider this capacity to be on a higher end we could further reduce the utilization to 8 CPUs and 8 gigabytes of memory and even come further down to 4 CPUs and 
4 GB of RAM and so on and so forth. Now this way in which we are going down is called as scaling down or this is also called as vertical scaling for us. That's it for this short video guys. I hope you like the concept of scaling up and scaling down. Uh, basically what we are doing here is depending upon the resource utilization on the servers if we in feel that the servers are under provisioned we would increase the configuration on the servers which is called a scaling up if you believe that the servers are over provisioned wherein we have allocated high cpu and high memory resources to the server but they are not consuming the resources to their fullest we then decrease the number of cpus and g the memory on the server and that process is called a scaling down now this up and down movement wherein we increase the number of resources or decrease the amount of resources is called as vertical scaling that's it for this video i hope you like the content thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notifications on the future videos that would be released in this series in the next video we would be discussing how scaling up and scaling down is done in amazon web services we would be taking a practical example and performing the scale up and scale down process thank you so much for watching keep having a great day